I'm Jeremy from UNITV and as you can see I'm here in my Sunday best. Now, I'm here at the UNSW Careers Expo for one reason and that is to find out what your high powered employee is looking for in their graduates. So, if you care, follow me. I'm just talking with Rachel. First question, what do you look for in your uh, graduate? I guess probably the, the main things that we look for in a graduate is obviously a good attitude, someone that aligns with our company values. We look for people who've got good academic results. Yeah. So we're looking for people who've got round about a credit average, 65 or above. We're looking for strong communication skills. One still is ideally looking for someone with future leadership potential. And we're looking for people with a few extracurricular activities, which means we're looking for people who can show us that university is not everything in their life and people who are really motivated, enthusiastic and the right attitude. What really makes you sit up and pay attention? What makes the student stand out in the crowd? I guess someone who comes up to the stand has already done a little bit of research about the company and starts asking intelligent questions about what specific uh, positions do we have on our graduate program. You definitely notice when students are more prepared. They come up with direct questions. They know which uh, stream they would like to apply into, whether it be HR or finance. So someone who has an understanding of what they're looking for. Someone who has a firm handshake, that's something that's good, and someone who remembers our names. Someone who would say, thank you, Karina, for your help today. That's someone you keep in mind. Just someone that comes straight up to us and has a little bit of an understanding about us already, because you know, we're proud to work for our company and we care about the people that actually know about us already. How should one prepare themselves for a career expo? I suppose research the organisations or the industry that they're interested in. Sit down and think about what do they want to get out of it. If you're serious about getting a job, I'd suggest you do a bit of research into who's attending and uh, go, to the, go to those people's websites and get a bit of background and then target those specific companies and ask them some intelligent questions so you can make, make an impression. What are some of the best or most memorable or uh, worst questions you've uh, ever been asked at one of these things? It's probably, again, just the people that have become well prepared, that are genuinely interested in like contractors, what we do, and just want to have a chat and find out a bit more about it. I think one of the most funny questions I had was probably someone who was asking me how much they have to pay for an application. Uh, the worst question would be, what careers do we have an offer and uh, we have a big sign here that says electrical. So the best one was probably why should I work for Simple? Um, so they really put me on my toes and it was like well we've got some, some really great great opportunities for graduates and I had to come up with you know why we're different to uh, I suppose other organisations. Well there was a lot of good advice there from a lot of powerful organisations but I guess if we're going to walk away from this with one thing be prepared do your research walk in there and know what you want. So uh, if you'll excuse me, I've, uh, I've got to find a job.